Well, after uh, two decades of just taking up space, a vacant rec center is given some new life. The renovation is part of the nearly $200 million investment from Baltimore City into its parks and recreation centers. WMER 2 News, Janae Wright joins us now. Janae, this is a pretty big deal for the surrounding neighborhoods. Exactly, Kelly. For decades, the South Baltimore community surrounding Carroll Park have not had an open and active facility to go to. Before the renovations, the building was vacant and run down. And city leaders say they are hopeful that taking on all of the different kinds of park and recreation renovations will benefit not just the young people today, but the future generations to come. It's been a little over, uh, I would say, close to 15 years since this facility um, was closed for 15 years. The Carroll Park Recreation Center sat untouched and slowly decaying. But now, thanks to Baltimore City's Rec and Parks rollout project, alongside South Baltimore Gateway Partnership, the facility has been reimagined. This being the latest renovation of many since early 2023. Mayor Scott making it his mission to reinvest in Baltimore City's parks and recreational centers. Sadly, many of our playgrounds, ball fields, pools, Rex centers haven't been touched in decades, but under my administration, we're committed to changing that part of Baltimore story. The upgraded building includes a multi-purpose gym, a lounge, classrooms, and offices. The grand opening included a ribbon cutting yeah. and a chance for people to tour the new facility. Children even got a head start on testing out the space solving puzzles and playing games. Tim Smith, the executive director of Southwest Baltimore Charter Schools, says it's something many children in the community say they were looking forward to, a space where they could feel safe and enjoy. And then a third student said, this would also give me time to truly be myself instead of having to babysit my siblings every day. I would know my sisters were in good hands, doing things that they could grow them and their mindsets. Growing up, Going to the school since kindergarten, I've personally never seen the recreational center open or working. Neither has my mom or my grandma who grew up here and still live here. Councilwoman Felicia Porter said she's proud, not just of the improvements to the facility, but how far she says her district has come in the last 10 years. This is not only an opportunity for us to re reclaim our communities, but really position our communities for the next level of community involvement here in Baltimore City. And the Carroll Park Recreation Center was the seventh ribbon cutting for park for Rec and Parks centers in 2024. There are still several other projects, including new swimming pools and playgrounds for Baltimore City, which are in the works right now. Kelly.